हरे कृष्णा वेलकम टू माई चैनल मोन लाइन केयर वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट टीचर्स और गुरुज और कोच वी गेट टू नो दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट जुपिटर बट रिमेंबर द मोस्ट इज द टीचर द मोस्ट सक्सेसफुल द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एंड द स्ट्रिक्ट टीचर इज शनिदेव सैटन एंड स्पेशल इवेंट इज गोइंग टू टेक प्लेस दैट सैटन इज गोइंग टू रेट टू गेट फॉर फोर मंथ्स एंड ट्वेंटी डेज इट्स यूजली अ नॉर्मल थिंग बट दिस टाइम सैटन इज सिटिंग इन इट्स ऑफिस दैट इज द साइन ऑफ एक्वेरियस विच इज इट्स मूल त्रिकोण साइन and this is happening approx after 30 years that's why it's a special event and we are going to talk about how this will affect our lives from 17th june to 4th november saturn is retrograde before coming to the results let's talk about saturn in brief om sam sanichraya namaha saturn is the son of sun and chaya the real wife of lord surya dev is sanjana she was unable to handle the glory and the brilliance of the sun she decides if she has to live with him happily she must become better or equal to him so without informing the sun she goes to tapasya on lord shiva for her shadow chaya she created a maya viru which is a duplicate of herself named as chaya and sends her to carry out her responsibilities as wife of lord surya dev in her absence after that The sun and Chaya gave birth to a child named Shani, Saturn. So this is the story. But somewhere Balram and Revati were also called as the parents of Shani, Saturn. Also, many people believe Saturn is one of the avatar of Lord Krishna, because when Lord Krishna talks about planets, he says, "In planets, I am Saturn." That's why Krishna bhakti is important for Shani also. The same way, people call Goddess Kali as the sister of Shani. because they both are kal which means past present and future all are in them if we talk about retrograde we can relate the story of lord ganesha's head how lord shiva decapitated ganesha's head in anger and also after that he became lord ganesha actually also the goddess sati story is related because of saturn retrograde but every time saturn retrograde it shows a big tragedy symbolism is difficulty results always shows betterment and it gives respect but don't be, don't feel scared of all that stories because we should always learn from our vedic scriptures when the head of ganesha decapitated then only he became lord ganesha and got all his powers and goddess sati took rebirth and finally she was allowed to live happily with lord shiva as parvati Saturn is actually to make us learn more and achieve good things, but as we all know, he is the righteous and punishes those who follow the path of evil and betrayal. And these powers Saturn got from Lord Shiva. Shiva gave the power to Saturn to act as a judge to people without any discrimination on the basis of karma. Saturn works. Saturn is not a bad planet, and it will not act bad if you are working hard. in the same way there is a story of retrograde saturn to save humanity from calamity and destruction shiva chose to consume the entire poison and thus drank it his wife goddess parvati was alarmed and she gripped her husband's neck with both hands in order to stop the poison from reaching his stomach but some of the poison fell down which came in scorpion and many other insects and many lords helped lord shiva and drank a small amount of poison the same way saturn did but it reacted to saturn the way it reacted in his body he started walking in reverse and that's how he retrogrades so all these were references now let's talk about what saturn do first when first wherever saturn sits check you are not making any mistakes related to that house keep checking your path and you are choosing the right path or not whether whether it's third aspect wherever it goes so you need to do hard work related to that house and where its seventh aspect is coming there you have to make balances between ups and downs don't betray anyone and where tenth aspects are going where you have to sacrifice related to the that house that particular house with that retrograde results will turn out to be good if you work on this okay We are going to talk on the basis of your moon sign as well as ascendant sign. Now let's see what special retrograde Saturn is bringing for you. Now let's see the results for the 
cancer sign saturn is retrograding in your 8th house 8th house is the house of in laws and sudden events also the 8th house shows hidden things and the third aspect is at your 10th house of career and seventh aspect is at your second house of voice communication food and family and at your fifth house which is the house of past life creativity child and future also the fifth house shows studies it also shows spiritual knowledge now let's see the results your eighth lord saturn is in your eighth house itself take care of your health if something related to stomach is there then eat healthy take care of your kidney and bones because saturn is not friendly with the sun saturn is wanting you to recheck your health and make any investment after thinking twice with relatives try to be honest because it also shows in laws so with in laws you need to make good connections respect your elders clear things from your side do your karma this saturn also shows inheritance if you respect elders also also some benefits from in laws are there if you make any mistakes try to apologize with the elders everything is important balance is important its seventh aspect is at your second house so here balance is important to balance your diet and balance the way you communicate with others make balance between families keep a check while speaking work on your values never compromise on your values make a balance between your incomes and expenses and do not take any big decisions for money matters don't change jobs it might happen if you can change jobs and try to jump into business this can cause problems don't make any big and drastic changes in your life right now if saturn is placed well then it will give you many things this can give you inheritance and increase your recognition promotion also but yes hard work is there be disciplined after hard work things will be slow but have patience and now your fifth house here you can have a child if you are waiting for it your child can do something big in your life if you are a student then you will achieve recognition while studying romance and love life will be good but take responsibilities give something to your studies you have to sacrifice it it to achieve something keep in check your responsibilities do your karma with honesty as a remedy you can pray lord shiva it is written to make saturn happy then respect elders do your karma with honesty and help others take care of old people that's all guys if you guys need any personal reading you guys can message directly on instagram hari krishna